We're human beings, we long for human connection, we crave to be touched and to touch. But so often we fail at doing it as if we were teenagers falling in love for the first time. Do you remember meeting someone you madly grew to love? Instant attraction, fire and sparks. You took a leap of faith approaching the other with curiosity, eager to find what's going to happen next. You took time to see how the other looked like, how he or she moved, smelled, smiled, talked. You took time to listen to their stories, to their laughter, to their crying every now and then. This is the first layer of listening, appearing when somebody fascinates you and you're willing to take more and more of that person in. When the feeling is mutual, when two people collide, falling back into each other like two crashing galaxies, one of the most beautiful human experience happens. It's a moment of closeness, of innocent play, of bliss and happiness. For a while, it feels like nothing else matters and that you are your best possible self. This is the second layer of listening, appearing when you're able to see and feel the beauty within. But no world is an island. No world can survive disconnected from the whole. In spite of laughter, it confines you to isolation. You can't fully nourish your soul anymore. Fury, rage and rebellion now violently smash your universe. Rules need to be changed and anger tears you apart. You can't see clear anymore. What happened to your loved one? Where did the wonder vanish? One more failure. Another disappointment confining you to loneliness. This is the third layer of listening, appearing when you need to reconnect with your whole self, but you somehow feel that the way you created the relationship stops you from doing that. Suddenly, something odd happens. When conflict pushed you away from your loved ones, optic change. From a distance, in spite of all imperfections, you see the other as he is. You feel again the amazement of his being, the joy he brings, the gift that he is. Love gives you strength to accept him fully. And love gives you wisdom and clarity of mind to keep you both connected in the larger context of the noisy hum. This is the fourth layer of listening, but it is only possible when you listen consciously, because only the wisdom and patience coming from being conscious can help you grow the seeds of a life born out of love and respect. <laughs>